All right, guys, well, welcome back to another video. We're gonna be cooking today over some live fire out here on the Bare Bones Cowboy Grill. Uh, it's kind of a cold, foggy, blustery day, a little bit of rain happening, so perfect day for some ground venison stroganoff. Super excited to cook this up. Uh, it's gonna be tasty, so, man, let's just dive right into it. Here we go. All right, we're ready to get rolling here. We got the coals hot. We got the pan hot, we got the Finex cast iron rolling here. And we got a pound of ground venison. This is venison from my uh, 2022 and 2023 buck uh, from right here on the farm. And uh, I've got a blend. It's basically 70-30 blend of venison to pork belly it was really fatty pork belly so pretty much just the fat and uh, we're gonna get it in here and uh, get rolling so just straight into the pan and we're gonna let that cook um, want to get kind of a nice browning uh, and I want it actually to kind of like that it's sticking to the pan you want to get a little bit of a fond going on the pan uh, for the rest of the sauce we're going to cook everything basically straight here into the Finex uh, cast iron pan so got it raised up a little bit just to reduce the heat and I'm gonna rock and roll get this cooked up All right, we're gonna season our meat here with just a little bit of salt and uh, coarse ground black pepper. Just a little bit to get it going. Our meat's just about done here, and once uh, once we get a little bit of a brown on the meat, we're gonna set it aside, reserve it, and continue on building our base for the sauce. So a lot of times you'll see stroganoff made with like shaved ribeye or some kind of other uh, kind of beef. Uh, I like to go the ground route just because I like to get a real meaty bite every time I'm eating it whereas like if you have the shaved ribeye or something like that uh, you know it's just a little bit a little bit different of an eating experience and so I just like to have that bit of ground beef and uh, or ground venison in every bite in this case uh, so that's why we're going ground but you could do this with you know other cuts of meat as well no problem all right looks like our meat is good we're gonna go ahead and pull our meat and reserve it into our bowl here. And we're gonna leave all this in here to brown up really nice. That's gonna serve as just flavor for the rest of our sauce. So we'll set the meat aside and uh, get the rest of it going here. I like to use this Thermoworks uh, IR thermometer gun just to check temperatures on my pan when I'm cooking over fire like this this is a great tool to use if you don't have one of these definitely pick one up check the link in the description also I may have a coupon code for these guys but I'll leave that in the description as well thanks to Thermoworks for sponsoring the Wild Food League really appreciate your support all right so I got about I don't know, six or seven decently sized uh, baby bella brown mushrooms here. Um, you can use quite a bit of different mushroom types, but these are a good one to use. Uh, I'm not a huge mushroom fan. This is one of the few dishes I actually do enjoy eating mushrooms, but we probably do a little bit less than a lot of other folks just because we're not huge mushroom people. But uh, yeah, about six or seven really big, decent sized baby bellas uh, sliced up relatively thin. And we'll just go straight into the pan with that. 
Then we're gonna add a real healthy pinch of salt to the mushrooms. That'll help just sweat out some of the water uh, from the mushrooms and then that'll help help us deglaze our pan here uh, as the water kind of cooks out of the mushrooms. So I'm gonna let these cook down for a decent amount of time here and then we'll move on to the next step. Our mushrooms are cooked down nicely. We're gonna go in with about a quarter of a white onion, finely diced. Uh, a lot of recipes will use a, quite a bit more white onion. I prefer to use white onion and then add one whole shallot. I prefer the flavor of the shallot over the onion. I'm gonna incorporate that. A little bit more salt here to help sweat the onions and the shallot down. And let her cook. As we get a little bit more liquid in the pan here, we're gonna scrape all that fond off the bottom, all those bits of flavor all right onions are cooked down a bit we're gonna go in with about four cloves of minced garlic get all that good garlicness in there can't have too much garlic incorporate that let it cook all right, now that we got our garlic cooked down, we're gonna add the first little bit of liquid. We're gonna go in with some white wine, just the cheap house Chardonnay, cheers. Ooh, about half a can, hot. <laughs> All right, <laughs> All right. <laughs> we're gonna go in with about half a can here. Cheers, everybody. Make sure we scrape all that fun, let that alcohol cook off. And we're gonna let this cook down in the wine for a couple minutes. All right, our wine's reduced there by half. We're gonna go in with uh, about a cup of beef broth. Basically I use better than bouillon base with about a tablespoon uh, in a cup, a little over a cup of water. Uh, so a little more than what it says on the package, but we want kind of that nice strong beefy flavor. So go in with that. And then Incorporate this and we'll let it re reduce down. Now while that's reducing, we're gonna get our water going over here for the pasta. All right, we're gonna get our water going here for the pasta. pot was hot so we'll get that boiling we are going to heavily salt our water want that well seasoned Bring that 
to a boil. All right, now we're gonna go in with uh, about a cup of heavy cream. That incorporated. Mixing that in, you get that kind of classic stroganoff color. And we're gonna let this reduce a tiny bit. All right, our water's boiling, so we're gonna go in with our pasta. Uh, if you guys haven't come across this yet, you're missing out. This has gotta be the best thing since sliced bread. This is cascatelli pasta it's a new pasta shape that was invented in like 2021 or something like that it's still kind of catching on uh, but it's got this kind of waterfall shape hence the name cascatelli uh, it's got these nice ridges and a trough that just really soak up the sauce and uh, it's got this kind of like thick tender bite it's just super duper good so we're going to use this today uh, check out the link in the description get yourself a box of this stuff it's super duper good consistency going here give our spoon a little bit of a taste oh yeah flavor town flavor town all right I'm gonna go in with a couple couple little bits of Worcester sister sauce, Worcester, Worcestershire. Just a little extra umami, a little extra color. Not required. All right, now we're gonna do a bit of a secret ingredient here. get that extra tang we're gonna go in with about uh, I don't know, a quarter cup or so of sour cream but not just any sour cream people this is gonna be Oaxacan crema Mexican sour cream this is flavor town all right first I'm gonna get just a little bit of our sauce here mix it in we don't want our sour cream to curdle when it hits the heat so we're just gonna mix a little bit of that hot stuff in here and then go in with our sour cream. And incorporate that. All right, our base mix sauce here is pretty much done. Just gotta wait on the pasta. Now we'll get it all put together. All right, at this point, we're going to go ahead and get our meat reincorporated into our sauce. Get our ground venison back in there and incorporate. All right, our pasta is done. Add some of it straight in over here. A little bit of pasta water to thin the sauce a bit. in and these cascatelli are so good oh, 
this looks amazing. Throw in a little smoked paprika for color. And a little bit of chopped parsley to finish it off. A pop of green. And there we have it folks. Ground venison stroganoff with cascatelli pasta. Man, can't wait to try this out. Let's get in here. All right, here we go. Oh yeah. Creamy mushroom, classic stroganoff flavor. That nice cascatelli pasta. So good. Let's get inside, serve this up. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, hit that like button, and of course, follow along at wildfoodoutdoors.com. We'll see you guys in the next video. Woo! Tasty!